Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us here today in the Stay Encouraged Show. We're so excited to be here on a Wednesday, right? Yes, yes. And um, sorry about <laughs> what happened yesterday. We had some technical difficulties, but we corrected the problem. Yay! Lion devil, right? <laughs> when we started talking about fasting, is that all of a sudden the devil just getting mad at us, you know? <laughs> but this whole week, we have what? Passion Week? Passion Week, yes. Yeah, yeah we're having uh, seven days of passion. And um, today is the third day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been praying. You've been praying in the morning, huh? Yes, uh, I've been joining our, our life group. We have a morning life group with uh, Brother Memo, Sister Rosa. And um, and there's just a, a good group of people getting yeah. up early, you know, or getting up um, before 6 because it starts at 6. And we're just interceding, praying for our city, praying for families, people, you know. Um, and, and you just see the... Uh, just the hunger that we all have to draw near to God. Amen. It's just beautiful. And that's the thing about this is that this show is really about encouraging people and drawing near to the Lord. And we just want to encourage you, out, you know, while we're going through this time and this season, um, we got to know that staying encouraged, you have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. Work on staying encouraged. And one of the things that I'd like to do, and I was just talking to the guys about it, is that I find ways to encourage myself. Mm -hmm. One of the ways that I like to encourage myself is through music. And uh, I know you guys probably like music. Maybe on the live stream, tell me what your favorite song is. Maybe you could put it on there. What is your favorite? <laughs> and it could be any song. It could be your worship jam. It could be something that encourages you every time you listen to it. Uh, we have something that we like to listen to. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. I don't know if you can hear it. Oop. Ah. Uh, there you go. This is a Mary Mary song. And then... They're old school. This is old school. This is old school. <laughs> Come on. And this is like an old school jam, but when we listen to it, this makes you want to just... Ooh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know, just... Something that makes you groove. Something that makes you dance. You know what you do in the shower. You're there in the shower, alone in the bathroom, <laughs> doing your thing, right? And this is what we like to do. Sometimes we like to to just listen to music yes, and turn yes. it on. And I like salsa. You like salsa? I like salsa. They have Christian salsa. I shared it with a few of the girls. That's right, it yeah. is so fun. I My wife likes Christian salsa. salsa. <laughs> she likes salsa. She likes to get down. And, uh, for Jesus. And, for Jesus. I'm sorry. Did I, did I mention Jesus in that one? Yeah, she likes to get down for Jesus. Yeah. And worship. Yeah. Worship Wednesday. Yeah. That's how we wor worship. Worship Wednesday. We love the worship. And find your favorite jam. Th throw it on today. That might keep you encouraged throughout the day. Do a repeat on that song and just keep playing it until you get your joy back. Amen. You know, and do that to stay encouraged. You know, there's three responses that I've always asked every Christian believer. Now, number one response is prayer, right? Prayer. Yeah, we do that, uh, and we just encourage everybody. If you don't know what to do during this time as a believer, pray. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that we need to do is what. Give. Give, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just asking people to be faithful in their giving of their tithes and offerings. And there's many ways that you can give on our show or you can give towards the church. Amen. And the good work that we're doing here, continue to run the men's home and the women's home and the good yes. things that we're doing. Amen. You can Amen. always, there's a way right underneath me and how to seed. give. Good and then now the last thing is what? Evangelize. Witnessing. Witnessing. Yes. yes. Witnessing. And yes. the way we witness now, because we can't go out to the streets and physically go out there and minister to people. We can do it through social media. So share, like, right? Repeat this after me. Share, share and like, like, and have a watch party. And there have you a go. Watch party. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed on our YouTube channel, go to our YouTube channel at Victory Outreach Concord and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get notified every time we have a service. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I'd like to welcome some people on the show here today. I have quite a few people that are uh, there. I see Memo on the line. Memo. Hi, Memo. Good morning, Memo. Uh, Natty's here. We see Natty on the line. Hi, Natty. Natty, we miss you. Jacob Smith is on the line. Hi, Mac. Jacob. Cynthia. Uh, wow. And uh, who else? Uh, Hi, Cynthia. Nida. 
All right, Anita. from Puerto Rico, she's on the line. Good morning, Nida. God bless you. And uh, Maria Garza. All right, I haven't Nida. seen you in a bit. Yes. We miss you, girl. Yes. Hope you're doing really good. Yes. And Daisy is here. Daisy. Karen. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Daisy. And we see Caleb on the line. Caleb is on Hi, the Caleb. line. And Ange Angelique. Angelique, the Jesus, the Jesus freak. freak. All right, she's on the line. <laughs> Alexis is on the line. Tina is in the house. Uh, let's see, and I think that's it. Um, I'm hoping Rita is Rita's gonna be on, on the, the line. line. Rita, Rita, so, yeah. get Kenny on the line because we're gonna wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. Today is Kenny's birthday, Jesus. and if you don't know Kenny, Kenny's a great brother, loves the Lord. And he, he's a broker, right? Yes. Real estate true. broker. And um, we know that we've done many trips with him, yes. him and his sister Rita. They're over our marriage, too. They're marriage over ministry. our marriage uh, life married group or time. ministry. As a matter of fact, they're doing a marriage class tonight. So oh, don't miss out okay, on that. The yeah. Zoom marriage group. You yes. know, go to our website, get information about that. But tonight at 6. But we want to wish uh, Kenny a happy birthday. So you ready to sing a happy birthday to Kenny? Yes. yes okay. Ready. Here we go. Ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Everybody in the background, sing it with me. Happy birthday, dear Kenny. Gone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Kenny. We love you. Love you, Kenny. And hope you catch this show. And we love you here today, and I hope you have a blessed day on your birth on your quarantine birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then also we have Esther on the line. Hi, Esther. Good, Good morning, morning, Esther. We love you. We love you. Say hi to Grace for yeah, us. Yes, she's all beautiful, Grace. Yes, and little, Tim. And Tim. Tim. <laughs> Tim too. I don't know if he's home, but you know, if you need prayer ministry, we got it for you. Amen. Or not prayer ministry, marriage ministry. Amen. <laughs> But um, but we we want to uh, just celebrate what the Lord is doing, and but you know one of the things that I realized that um, God does a lot of things in darkness. Mm -hmm. And darkness is is heavy, you know, because um, God when God created the earth, He created it in darkness, right? Um, many things happen in darkness. As a matter of fact, the Bible talks about weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. But there's a season of weeping that happens at night. And at night, nobody knows sometimes when we're sorrowful or we're going through depression and or we're going through some deep, deep problems that nobody really knows about. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about that a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, about the season that we're in right now. Yes. And you might be in darkness mm -hmm. and it might be a, a cloud over you or it might be a, like a just a dark time in your life. And we want to speak about that. Yes. Um, there's there's a Bible verse that we we are, uh, have as a promise for our ministry. If you don't know it, it's in Isaiah 45, 2 and 3. But I, I want to bring it in a different light. I know we, pretend, we, we talk about this as our promise. Mm -hmm. But also we can apply it in, the, in a different way too as well. In Isaiah 45, 2 and 3, it says, I will give you treasures in hidden darkness secret riches i will do this so that you may know that i am the lord the uh, god of israel the one who calls you by name now this is in the nlt version and it really says that there's hidden treasures in darkness and what i want to say here today is that a lot of times you don't know what god is doing and this scripture also pertains to that you don't know what you'll find in darkness mm. do you know that in your trial you can get a treasure do you know that in your trial you can get a nugget? Mm -hmm. And I believe that if you uh, allow God to speak to you in your dark time, you can get the biggest treasure ever. And I, I believe that's what God does, doesn't it? I mean, yes. we've had our dark times, right, honey? We had many dark times. Yeah. And, but even in those dark times, we've God has always given us the strength to come out of those things. He's there with us. And, and we think, I mean, personally, I thank God for those tough times because, if anything, it's made us stronger. That's right. And we've been able to draw close to the Lord. Yeah. And in those times, we've, we've gotten most valuable lessons. Mm -hmm. I mean, some lessons that I've, I can still remember back in the day when I was going through some dark times. Mm -hmm. And I, we learned some valuable, valuable lessons of faith. Mm -hmm. Right? Of trusting God. Yes. Um, not not falling apart, but falling on our knees. You know what I mean? Not 
not allowing trials to just take us out, mm -hmm. but allow trials to deepen us. And I believe that that's what God wants to do in you. Sometimes you don't know what God is doing in your trial or maybe in your dark moments. Yeah. yeah. Right? There's a scripture that my wife has. Go ahead and share that scripture yeah. with us about encouraging us in a dark yeah. time. If, if you do have your Bibles, I do encourage you to bring your Bibles to this because we do read scripture. And it's nice to get in there and make notes on your Bibles. I, I have a lot of notes. But anyways, this is in 2 Corinthians 4, 8. It says, um, we are hard pressed on every side. Yet we're not crushed. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Um, persecuted, but not forsaken. Thank you, Jesus. Struck down, but not destroyed. Mm. Isn't that a beautiful scripture? Yeah, that's very good. And, and that's the thing, is that when you're in, you're in your dark moments, remember, you're not losing, you're learning. Yes, yes. You're not losing, you're learning. Sometimes we feel like we're losing life. Life is going so fast. Things are happening. And you're not real you're not really God wants you to use those dark moments to teach you a lesson. And there's could be a, a valuable lesson, a treasure, a nugget in that place that God wants to give you. See, you have a choice, hon. Yes, yes. Right? The choice is that either you're gonna get bitter or better. Better. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. e either right. in those dark moments you're gonna get bitter. And you're going to miss out on what God wants to give you in those dark moments. Or you can get better. And you can learn something. Not You, you feel like you're losing, but God wants to learn. You, God wants you to learn something from that. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Lord wants to show you something even in those dark moments. It's a season. It's only a season. It is, it is. Right? And yeah, I've, I've also learned that in those hard times... The way that you get through those hard times is you be, you begin to pour into someone else. You know, I, I know that in my dark moments, sometimes I've gotten phone calls and, and my stuff begins to be a lot smaller <laughs> mm -hmm. than the things that they're going through. Or even if I'm going through heavy, heavy trials, um, you know, I just learn to just learn from them, go through them. Um, I remember, I'm going to share a little bit about my son. I think, when I think of some of the most difficult trials I've ever gone through was through, you know, we call him Little Bobby. He's not Little Bobby anymore. He's a man of God, raising a beautiful family. But it took a lot of, lot of prayer, a lot of growth in our life. And I remember um, one time, I, I, ha I mean, I w I'm the type of person that it takes a whole lot to break down. Because I'm so... Um, I'm, I'm optimistic. I always try to look at the best out of people, out of situations. So rarely do I have a breakdown. It's rare. But this one particular time, um, I was tired. You know, sometimes when you're praying and it's been years and you don't see anything, um, <clears throat> we get tired. You know, we get tired and we're like, God, where are you, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember... Um, Going to my pastor at that time, Pastor Eric Caraveo in South Sacramento. Bless their hearts. They're such great people. Um, going to him and saying, Pastor, I am I feel like a terrible mother. How can I even be an example if I, my family is not in order? And I love what he told me. It, it, I, I kept that, and, and it really helped me. And he said, um, he said, you are a good example. I'm like, how am I a good example, Pastor? My kid is going crazy. And she goes, you don't give up. Mm. Woo! I kept that. That like just that. encouraged yeah, like me that. so much. Because sometimes we feel like failures. We're failing in our marriage. It's We're true. failing with our children. Mm. But he said, Claudia, you're the best example. You don't give up. And mm. that really that really gave me more like, That's right. courage. I'm like, yes! Okay, I'm not gonna give up. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's 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 so true. It's like, your kids might see you mess up, people might see you mess up, but let them not see you give up. That's right. And and that's important that we show that example of a, of people that don't give up so easily. And if, if you could show if you could show that that's the best example ever, right? Yes. yes you absolutely. know, and just keep keep going forward. Keep going forward. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Know that God is with you. He's He's your strength. He's your He's your shield and buckler. God yes, can yes. hold um, you strong even in those places where you're falling apart. Remember, when you're the, at your weakest, mm -hmm. He is the strongest. 
when he, you're at your weakest point, that's when God can be God in your life. You see, when you're at your strongest, you don't really need God as much. Mm -hmm. But when you're at your weakest, you need God more. And, and that's where he becomes stronger in you when you're depleted of strength, right? Mm -hmm. When you're in that dark moment, you're like, oh God, I need you. He'll, be, he'll show up in that moment. He'll give you the strength that you need. And you can fight and continue to fight the good fight of faith. And man, we need fighters. Yes, we right? do. We need fighters. We need people that can fight and during this time and not give up. Mm -hmm. I, I, we're going to conclude in just a little bit, but I want to leave you with this too. I'm going to share a scripture and then we're going to pray for people. Amen, amen. But I want to leave you with this. We're going to be doing a series called The Enemies of the Heart. And that's going to be happening after Easter, um, this Easter weekend. Thank God for Easter weekend. Thank Come on, the Jesus. Resurrection Sunday. Yes. We have yes. a good Friday service. This Friday is going to yes. be amazing. Amen. And this Sunday is going to be a beautiful Sunday of celebrating His Resurrection. And don't forget, we're going to be having uh, gift cards that we're giving away from yes. Amazon. Yes. You just got to just follow the instructions on social media. They'll show you pictures. how to do that. <laughs> put your pictures up of your family. Mm -hmm. Tag VO Concord. And put Easter 2020 at VO Concord. Put that in there. But what I want to leave you with this is that I mean, I'm going to be doing the enemies of the heart. And stay tuned to that. We're going to be doing promos and all kinds of stuff. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to talk about what attacks your heart. Mm. And what, what gets you to a place where you want to give up. Mm -hmm. Don't miss out on the series. It's going to be amazing. And we're really going to be tackling those issues that get you to a place where you want to give up. And I, I believe that if you tune in to these services that we're going to be having, three consecutive services after Easter, we're going to be talking about the three enemies of the heart. Matter of fact, we have a slide on that. The three enemies of the heart. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about that. So I encourage you to, to, to tune in. But I, I want to share a scripture here. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a good scripture in regards to um, what trials are for us. Okay, In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Verse 16 says, therefore, do not lose heart. Through outwardly, we're wasting away. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, no, we're getting older. Amen. Yet, inwardly, our being is being renewed day by day. Amen. For our light and momentary trials and tribulations mm -hmm. are achieving for us an in external or internal glory that far outweighs all of them. So, it says this, we fix our eyes not on what's seen, but on the unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. eternal. Amen. Isn't that so good? It's beautiful, yeah. And, and Come and highlight it. That's right. We don't, <laughs> we don't focus on this world so much. That you, you lose sight of what Jesus is trying yes, to do. Thank you, and Jesus. keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on heaven. Know that God is with you, even in your dark moments. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy, joy comes, comes in, in the, the morning. morning. Put on your favorite jam today. Yes. Put on your favorite song today. Get that joy back in your spirit. Yes, yes. And know that we, the important thing is that we stay in courage. courage. Right? Mm -hmm. Stay in courage. So we're going to pray for folks here today. And I know there's yes. needs um, mm -hmm. that people are, you know, are praying for right now. And, and we want to make sure that we lift those needs up in prayer. Okay? And so, um, John Lopez is watching. And we, uh, he's at work right now. Carrie, guess, Hi, is watching. Savano is watching. Hey, Savano. God bless you, brother. Thank you for joining us. We're going to yeah. say a prayer here today. And I know that you're praying for your families. You're praying for protection for your, your children, your grandmothers, your moms. I'm praying for my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. You know, like I yes. mentioned yesterday, they've been, they, they're afraid to leave the house. My, my, my parents are older and they're afraid to leave the house. They don't want to get sick. And so I'm praying for the elderly and those that are serving um, in the medical field, yes, right? Yes, I mean, there's, we got quite a few people in our church mm -hmm. that are serving in the medical field that we want to lift up, yes, lift them yes. up in prayer amen, amen. too as well. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to pray for those that don't know the Lord here. And if you don't know the Lord, I encourage you to get this scripture, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins, you'll be saved. Amen. And that's what I'm praying for, that you yes. come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and know the death and burial and his resurrection, especially around this Easter. This is a perfect time to give your life to Jesus. And so I'm going to say this prayer and you just repeat after me. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I come before you, 
Come before you. And ask you to forgive me. Ask you to forgive me. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you died on the cross. And rose the third day. And rose the third day. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you've done that prayer and you made it a sincere prayer, you gave your heart to the Lord, let us know. Put it on the feed. Put it on our website. Put it on our social media. Wherever. Just let us know that you are a new believer. Mm -hmm. And that maybe you're new to our church and you're just finding out about our church. And if you are, what you could do, you can call this number or text this number, 925-222-5905, 222-5905. Just text that number to I am new and your name, and let us know mm -hmm. that you're new to our show. Amen. Maybe you're new to our church, you just want to find out more information, mm -hmm. we want to help you take the next step. Now, we're going to say a prayer for all the needs. Maybe we could just okay. go ahead and do that right okay. now. Okay. Lord, we just come before you, God, in the name of Jesus, and... God, I thank you for this scripture that says um, not to lose heart, God. So whatever situation we are in right now, God, we may feel like we're um, being pressed down, oh God, or being afflicted right now, God. But I pray that we put our hope in you, Jesus. I pray for every person that may be dealing with difficult situations, God, that you show them you're there with them, God. You're their strength, God. You're their victory, God. Let them learn from this, oh God. God, I thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing. I pray for every uh, medical worker that's out there in the field, oh God, that you keep them safe, God. Keep our family members safe, our children safe, my God, from this virus, Lord Jesus. Cover us all, Lord, and we thank you. We cast our burdens to you, God. Whatever burden is upon us right now, God, we release it to you. We trust you by faith, God, that you're going to see us through. And most importantly, God, help us never to give up. Never, never to give up, God. Because if you're for us, who can be against us? Yes, we Lord. thank you in the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're praying for you all, y'all. Anytime you need a prayer need, let us know. We're praying every day right now. Yes, Seven days yes, of passion yes. leading up to Easter. And we're praying right now for God to do some miraculous miracle in you and your life and your family's life. And if you also want to partner with us, hon, mm -hmm. right? People are partnering with us right now. Yes, yes. People are giving their tithes and offerings. And stay faithful to the Lord as we continue to do that. There's a slide underneath me that talks about that. And it's VO Conquered. Dot com. You can give that way, or you can give through a text, 84321. You can give that way, too. We look forward to your support as we continue to move forward. You know, don't forget about us. Amen. Let's continue to move forward together yes, in yes. Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. So with that, also reminder, don't forget this weekend, yes. Friday and Sunday. Yes. Right? What's, what's Friday? Good Friday. Good Friday. And Sunday is Amen. Resurrection Sunday. Sunday. Looking forward to that. I know God's going to move in a powerful, powerful way. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Amen. It's, it's always a blessing to do this yes, show, huh? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. You want to hear victories. You want to hear, um, you know, praise reports. If you can email us or text us mm -hmm. or put it up on Facebook. Amen. Just let us know how this show is blessing you. We would love to hear that. It will encourage us as yes. we're trying to encourage yes. you. Amen. God bless you here today. Thank you for joining us. May the Lord bless you. We'll be back at this tomorrow again at 10 a.m. God bless you. God bless you.